yeah, how's everyone doing? Good, I hope. Yeah, the Atari VCS is awesome, you know. And uh, these are the games that I have on stadia you now at the moment, you know. Doom 64, Far Cry 6, Doom Eternal, uh, uh, PUBG, you know, Battlegrounds. And we oh, think it's awesome, you know. Um, output to 4K, the games play look, look, look really good. And we, could, we can play the games with the VCS guitar and the, the vibrate and everything. So, uh, pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, Doom 64 is awesome, and It's been remade. It's on pretty much everything, but it's also available on Stadia. And because of that, I can play it on the Atari VCS. Yeah, so... Yeah. yeah enjoy gaming, people. You know, uh, how, how, however you do it. I uh, love playing games on my Atari VCS, you know. I mean, we could be playing this, and then we could be playing Super Mario Bros. 3, then we could be playing Forza Horizon 4. I mean, that easy, you know. And it's all in 4K, you know. So, pretty cool. Yeah. I hope Final Doom uh, gets re remade. For some reason, like, they don't remake that one. I mean, I liked uh, Final Doom, you know. And, uh, yeah, so, pretty cool. Doom 65, Luke, cool. Uh, sort of like Batman, sort of, it reminds me. The way, the way uh, it goes around the logo, the Batman logo, similar sort of thing, Luke, you know. Yeah, so... I mean, there's nothing to, to complain about until there is something to complain about. That's that's all I'm saying, you know. And um, brilliant. And it looks better. Believe me, it looks better in real life than in the video. Believe me, it does. You know. Yep. Brilliant, brilliant game. I love the look. Doom, uh, Doom 64 was uh, the reason why you got uh, a uh, Nintendo 64 back in the day, like, you know. And uh, look, it's, it's awesome on the Atari and Stadia on the Atari VCS. Uh, yes, you, 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 you do have to have a good internet connection, otherwise, just your experience just won't be that good. Awesome stuff. Cool. Yeah, so chill, people. Enjoy your your Atari VCS, you know. And uh, now I, I have heard people saying that they've had problems with their with their Atari VCS. I'm sorry to hear that, you know. And I, I but we haven't had any issues with my Atari VCS. Like, am we one, one of the lucky ones? Well, if I am, I'll take it, you know what I mean, like, you know, uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, uh, awesome, awesome, and believe me, it looks better uh, in real life than uh, through video on the therapies, yes, you know, steady and all, uh, yeah, like, 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 steady gets a bad rap, in my opinion, you know, like, if you have a bad internet connection, you're going to have a bad experience. If you have a good one, you're going to have a good one. It's, just, it's as simple as that, you know. Uh, uh, Two hundred one hundred, like you know. We. I'm doing pretty good with uh, one hand, you know. We And, uh, look, the reason why I got the 64 to stay is is uh, the, the, the controller has rumble, you know, which is pretty cool. And uh, I, was, uh, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest with you, you know. Whereas uh, on Xbox Game Pass, we can play Doom 64 with the VCS controller, but there's no rumble, you know, so, uh, I don't know, like, you know. 
I don't know why it'll work in Stadia, but it won't work in uh, Xbox uh, Cloud Gaming, like, you know. But anyway. So, yeah, I love doing. Uh, I have it for every system of my own. Uh, it just never gets boring, like, you know. Just, uh, just, we always come back to this, uh, you know. And we we prefer this over Doom Tree, you know. Like Doom Tree was good now, but we just prefer this, you know. We uh, and the original Dooms, you know. Um, Doom Doom Tree, we just got barn for me after a while. It just it wasn't as fast uh, paced as this, cause you have to stop the read PDAs to to get codes for cabinets and other stuff. So like. And it's just annoying with I find, you know, um But Doom Tree it's more focused on the story and the characters and the atmosphere which is cool and all but like we just want this, you know, like <laughs> I'm doing too my best here. Uh well yeah, so uh Yeah, remember at the time all the hype Doom Tree was getting and don't get me wrong, Doom Tree looks amazing. It, it does. I mean, it really, it re it really uh, looks gra uh, uh, graphically impressive. But if the gameplay is barren, which I'm sorry it is, because all that stop starting stuff to read PDA is just just breaks the, breaks the immersion, you know. But it is more scary now. I tell you that than than the original Dooms. Um, so it has some good things going for it, Doom Tree, you know. But ultimately, I'd rather play this or the old Dooms over Doom Tree, you know. And uh, apparently, like, uh, they were hoping Doom Tree would have the same success that the original Dooms had, and this, but it just didn't because, like, of, of, of those problems, the game just wasn't as fun. You know, Doom Tree, in my opinion, anyway, a game ha has to be fun, you know. And I just found myself getting bored with Doom Tree after a while. Uh, whereas I always come back to this, I always got come back to the uh, the original Dooms, you know. Uh, so, look, for me, like, it's a game has to be fun. I mean, it, it, uh, even if a, if a, guy, if a game has, has a bad frame rate, like Doom and the Sega Saturn, like, would, would play that over Doom Tree, you would. I mean, but they're just my opinions, like, you know. Like, Doom Tree still is a good game, but it's just not the 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 the, the blockbuster hit that OED Software wanted it to be, like Doom was, because it just wasn't, you know. So, I think because of that, they went back to the drawing board with Doom, and then in 2016, they brought out the new Doom, which brought back the sort of gameplay that this has and the old Dooms uh, except in in the new Doom it just felt like you're in a circular area you shoot demons you move on to the next area rinse and repeat uh, uh, and I, I had killed like uh, death kills the, 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 the way you kill the demons but the thing that pissed me off is you see how I shot that guy his body stays there and if we exploded his body next to a uh, a, a waste barrel you see, see little meaty chunks on the ground whereas in the new Doom you, you, you can literally fucking rip them apart you know see uh, the reason that, that the new Doom in 2016 you can literally rip them apart fucking rip off their arms and stick stick it in their head that's all killable cool, as soon as you do that everything disappears it's like as if nothing happened which we understand what they're doing that for memory, the free up memory and the frame rate, but that's, I mean, it just irritates me. Look, see all them bodies, they stay there, you know, because, you know, like, like, uh, yeah, so I don't know, like, uh, and then Doom Eternal, now, now Doom Eternal, it's, pre it's pretty much the same stuff as, as the Doom in 2016. You're in a circular area, you kill a bunch of demons, you move forward. But one thing that's really annoying about Doom Eternal for me is these jumps. So you have these awkward jumps that you have to make to, to progress through the game. 
I know he must have fallen to my death like a hundred something times and I got pissed off and I didn't want to play the game anymore. Which is unfortunate, you know, because I was hoping that Doom Eternal would, you know, be fun, you know. Just because I got a lot of hype, I got a lot of hype, uh, just like Doom, like any other Doom guy. But it, it, for me personally, what, what killed Doom Eternal and out of all the Dooms really, that's the one I don't want to play. Because of those jumps, you had to make these jumps and you had to grab onto the wall and climb up like, like Spider-Man or something. We just, we just don't like that, you know what I mean? Uh, and uh, once again, they, you can kill the enemies in gruesome ways, you can rip off their legs and break their backs, but as soon as you do that shit, everything disappears. And again, I know why they're doing that. To keep the memory, free up memory, um, to, to keep the frame rate up, but... It should still be, I don't know, like, I don't know. So I hope, now I'm hearing that there will be an, a, a new Doom coming out in the future, and I'm praying to God it goes back to the original formula of, of like this, like Doom 64 and the original Dooms. If we kill 40 guys, I want to see their bodies on the ground. If we blow them up by a barrel, I want to see the cuts all over the walls. Like, look at Brutal Doom, for example, on the PC. That's exactly the sort of Doom we want to see on, on the consoles. I mean, the consoles are powerful enough, like, they should be able to do it, like, you know? And if it does come on Xbox Game Pass, we'll be able to play it. But for some reason, it's still only on the PC, and I don't understand that. Like, Brutal Doom, like, is it too violent or something? I mean, is that the reason why it's not on consoles? Or can the consoles not ha can't handle Brutal Doom? I don't know, like, well, that's exactly the sort of Doom I want to see, you know? Because it's a... It, it has the guard factor, the bodies don't disappear, it's fast, fluid action. I mean, you're not stopping every five minutes to look at a PDA, uh, to hear about some scientist fucking hearing whispering, and he's, he's cracking up, and all I want is to call it out this fucking door or cabinet, you know? And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so, so, yeah, I hear that, he, that they are making a new Doom. Doom 6, I think this will be. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think this would be the, the sixth Doom game, you know. And like I said, I'm praying that it's like Brutal Doom. Like, you know, just, you know but it probably won't be. I just get the feeling that it's going to be like Doom Eternal. They're going to include something awkward like jumps or fucking swing on the vine or some shit. I don't like that, you know. Like... Like, that's why I stopped playing platforming games because I remember back in the day doing over and over and over again and not making jumps and they incorporate that frustration into Doom when it wasn't necessary. So that's what killed... Now, we never even finished Doom Eternal. I got to, like, the second or third level and I just give up because I know what I'm going to face, those fucking... those jumps. And I don't know. That's what kills it for me. You know, so anyway, yeah, they do 664 on the, on the Atari VCS. Now, we, we could play it this way to stay deep, or we can go into Chrome and play the actual N64 version if we wish, or we can play, play it to Xbox Cloud Gaming, you know. But uh, this is the best way to play it on the Atari VCS, in my opinion, to stay deep, you know. Uh, and like I said, the, the rumble in the VCS controller is awesome. And I wasn't expecting that, you know, to be honest with you. Uh, and uh, so, yeah. Yeah, so that's what I'm hoping. Uh, if when, when when the new Doom game comes out, it's like Brutal Doom. And I hope someone brings out Brutal Doom for a console or something. Because even though we have the Atari PC and even though it's a PC, we still can't access Brutal Doom for whatever reason. Now, I'm not, I'm not using Windows 10 or anything like that. I'm just using the, the Chrome browser built into it, you know. So, I asked a question. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask a question. If we upgraded my Atari VCS to Windows 10 or something, would we be able to play Brutal Doom on my Atari VCS, you know? You know? I don't know, like, you know? Something tells me... Oh, 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 I don't know. The Atari VCS just wouldn't be powerful enough on its own to run Brutal Doom. But then again, I don't know. You know, but yeah, so like, look at her, Doom 6, uh, whatever they, they decide to call it, just call it Doom 6, you know, uh, make it look brutal. Doom, 
that's it in, in a nutshell you know just car heavy, heavy metal music levels like this and like out of Rizal and Doom no disappearing bodies no stopping every five minutes to, to read PDAs and shit like that I don't like that you know and the in this and the old Doom they change the textures or the levels to make them look different you know but it's in Doom 3 pretty much, pretty much everything looks the same like metal walls grey metal walls with blood on it you know I don't know like I don't know you know and then they brought with the, the expansions now for Doom 3. The last mission and Resurrection of Evil. Again, more the same. Okay, there's more action in, the, in those ones, but you still have to read PDAs. You still have to uh, read to scientists fucking going nuts and shit. I don't, I don't care about that, you know. But anyway, they're my opinions. And I just, just want to make a quick video about that. Like Doom 64 to Stadia and the Atari VCS. It's awesome and it's it's cool and um I don't, I don't know why people give it a bad rap um to keep uh, it's not the worst thing ever you know yeah and it runs great on my Atari VCS anyway so I don't know we can only speak from my experience and it looks better than uh, the video sound believe me it is you know uh, oh I'm doing this one hand or two so. Yeah, pretty cool. Oui. So I guess I'll end the video there, and I hope everyone has a good day. And like I said, enjoy your your Atari VCS. Uh, like I said, like I know people have, have have had problems, and I feel sorry for those people, and I hope it gets sorted out. But uh, just um, just enjoy gaming, people, and. Uh, uh, the best advice we could give everyone out there is, you know, be patient and uh, tr uh, treat your stuff with respect. You know, that's that's all I'm saying. You know, because uh, that's one of the things that you have to have with the Atari VCS. You have to have patience. If you don't have it, then you're you're not going to enjoy the Atari VCS. That's just the way it is. Like, unfortunately, but that's the way it is. Like, it's a PC. It's not a console. So. I'm I'm not trying to be arrogant or, or anything like that. I'm just telling you, like, it's not it's not like an Xbox Series X, so it's gonna take longer for shit to happen. So that's just the way it is, you know. Um, so uh, it takes it takes longer for stuff to happen. That that's just the way it is with the Atari VCS. So if if you're willing to wait for stuff to happen, then you're you're gonna enjoy your Atari VCS. But if you don't, then you're not. It's just as simple as that. So yeah. Awesome, you know. I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. Like I'm doing this one handed, and uh, pretty cool. Cool. Right, so I guess I'll end the video there. Uh, enjoy the day, everybody. Uh, enjoy your Atari VCS or whatever system you're you're playing your your games on. Uh, play Doom 64, like it's awesome. I'm, uh, and uh, look, like I said it looks better on, in real life than through the video. That's been answered with you there, anyway. Uh, wait. When you figure out where they go, that's another thing. Like uh, with 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 the new Doom, Doom, Doom in twenty sixteen, it's easy to get lost. You know, I mean, and trying to figure out where to go. Here, it's also hard to figure out. Like, you know, what I mean, that's that's one thing. You know. Yeah. So yeah. So anyway, uh, I hope everyone has a great day. Take care, bye bye.